Hello, Edling Subsy here. If you do enjoy these, can you please like and subscribe? These can take a while to do. Thank you. <laughs> and enjoy the video. Hello, welcome back to another guide. Today, we are doing mo Most Epic Miraculous Escalation. Sorry, just, it's a hulk of a name. And uh, now, you gotta click that thing under the guy, and then you can get teleported to this room. Each floor represents like, each colour obviously represents a flaw and what it has. And the toughest one is the last, what doesn't really represent that much. Anyway, once you go over here, you gotta start with, obviously, points. Also, slow sense glitch. Ew. <laughs> I gotta do this. And then, for me, it's tough, but you gotta climb onto this ladder. Uh, if you do fall, you can just, like, high jump onto any ladder or truss at floor one. So that's quite nice. And I just gotta go into this one slot gap. There's just some purist gameplay. From this truss, just flick off and just keep going around until you press this one button. Once you press the one button, you have to go over to this side, right next to it. And you can just do the rest. Tightrope. Uh, if you're on Xbox, I recommend angling yourself. Also, there is a ton of skips. But lean yourself sideways for this part. And I wouldn't really recommend turning in if you have to slow down switch, but I would if you don't. I'll jump onto that one platform and then you can get teleported floor two. That fast. Uh, now do this wrap around. Go into this, squeeze through these one studs. There is a skip literally right here. I will just, I will tell you it and it may get patched because you skip this entire floor. You can actually flick up here and your hand can touch the teleport and teleport you to the start of the next floor. Yeah. But I'm not gonna flick, but you can like jump off or just walk off. Now go through that gap, jump onto this button where it is a little bit tight, but you gotta just jump over to there and walk off. Pretty neato. I do this, and I go across on this X pusher and then down to this teleporter. And now I gotta do this up around, and yeah, I would just recommend jumping like that so your hand touches it. It's quite easy. And now you can jump back up here. Also, another skip is, if you do fall, you can just, like, high jump onto that truss. But, this button is not done yet. you got to go over here and then jump to that, and then go up, like that. And then that's where that button ends. As you can see, the transparent part is there, and it will fill it. Uh, but if you do miss it, and you're good at wall hopping, you can loot, you can wall hop up. This is pior que o tubarão, que é o lição, ó. Aí, ó. Tá bom, chega. Você vai embora pretty tough. If you fall into that, I think you do get teleported to the start on the floor. So, keep that in mind. And now do this jump, and jump onto that. I uh, get used to circular trusses. Oh. Yeah, there's two more at the final floor. <laughs> pretty scary, right? Uh, that one, this is like the most lenient button. I would recommend doing that as like a skip. I don't think it will get patched. That's why I've shown it. Now you gotta go like this and slowly go across it. If you land on top of the last floor, you just get teleported back to the start of floor four. Or three. It's three. Oops. And do that. Now go up. There's not really much consequence to falling. If you cannot really be... Oh my god, I stuck. If you can't really be bothered to do that, I can just jump onto this, and you can go up. And then you can jump onto this ladder. Uh, this is really weird. Be careful to not wipe yourself across walls too often. I know that sounds weird, but your balloon can go downwards and it can literally make it impossible. Like your... Your balloon would not get trapped anymore, that's what I mean by literally go downwards. And because you're way too low, you cannot climb on the piece. Also, if you do try to high jump, there is an invisible wall. I did try that. Like that. And now you can jump onto this teleporter. Where you get to this one part. Should be quite simple. Just do that. Jump onto these ones, but be careful here. Because if you do fall, rip progress. Jump over to this one part, jump over to that one part. Remember to jump sideways, since they're not climbable. And now jump over to this and you probably will be fine. I'd hope that you would be. 
I do this jump, do that wrap around. There's a lot of these wonky wrap arounds. I now go into this ladder and then like jump around it. That's the easiest way. Now go into those one studs, go through this gap again. I know you have to do that outside two times. I now jump onto this one part. And then you can ladder flick up. There's no punishment for failing those ladder flicks, but yeah. I can just high jump onto these, but I'm not gonna do it. Like actually I'll just show it like that. But I'll do it legit. Um now from this, do this wrap around and turn in. Go across and then just do these. It's, it shouldn't give you much struggle if you're already here. So do be careful to move kind of slowly, otherwise it's super easy to slip up. Make sure to walk sideways as well. Uh oh. Oh, yeah, that can happen. For that one part, you gotta look on the roof. Pretty spoopy, right? And I gotta go across, and then this is where you skip to. It isn't the most, like, productive skip. But it definitely helps. Now you gotta do five challenges. If you fail on this floor, bye bye to all of your progress. Uh, these are the two other circular ladders I'm looking at. Also, you do get a nice view of the ring. Yeah, it's pretty epic. And now just slowly go across this one truss. Or fast. Do it however you want. And yes, at those corner pieces, you can stand on them. While I speak- oh my god. <laughs> now go across that and there is a piece to catch you on that half. Uh, that isn't it though, I forgot. <laughs> this one section, you can high jump and then climb in the middle piece of it, but it's risky. So I'll leave it up to you. Uh, I recommend leaning sideways when jumping into these smaller gaps, they're very scary. In my opinion, this is the most risky one. Well, for all of them, you do fall far down, but like this one is one of the tougher ones, and I did it, yay! That's one challenge, and we have to do five. The next one is probably this one right here. It has like two scary jumps. So from here, go right to the corner and then jump over there. It's further than you think. And now lean sideways and make sure you face it. This is one of the more scary jumps for me. Yeah, I recommend leaning this way so you can climb it. Anyway, jump over to this. Jump in and so you turn in. Jump over to this. Oh, maybe only one. <laughs> I literally played it before. How didn't I know? Anyway, this one, actually. This one is another very scary one. Do that wrap around. Do this. Oh, this was like the hardest, if not the second. Why did I do? Why I gave you misinformation? Sorry. Uh, now go across this. Uh, lean yourself right here, and then jump. Treat it like a 12 star uncheesable. Please do. Seriously. <laughs> so with this one, they're both very tight jumps, and they're not good. Do that and turn in. Uh, jump a little bit on the out. Do that jump onto these and do this wrap around there we go that's most of the scary challenges done right oh yeah we only have the two more lenient ones what's good this one has more catch platforms that's why I say that it's more lenient same with the well the other one is just easy just jump up to that now jump to that and I wouldn't recommend jumping to that piece and then doing the jump it's easier just to do it from that obviously uh, now I have to go around this and jump to that. Uh, now there's a lodge, but don't worry, if you do fail it, you get back. But how you do it is, once you're in the middle, you have to lean yourself 90 degrees, and then you can easily walk past it, and that's that one. And now we just have the easiest challenge left. Literally this. <laughs> there's a very easy way of how to do it, just jump on these one studs. Though you can like barely see the outline of them. And I just move slowly and carefully through these. Because it can be scary. Once you press that button, you can now go back. Because, yep, we did all challenges. Nice. Another stairs. So jump to where the stairs are opposing your movement. So, like that. Hit it. And you can jump onto the wind pad and win. Yeah. GG. Thank you for watching.